Spice 132 here, back with another video, and welcome back to my channel. So today, is, I'm doing something different. I'm, I'm just doing this on a whim. I said to myself, I cook a lot, so I will have way more videos on my channel if I show you guys the things that I cook on a daily basis or throughout the week, and I, you know, because I just don't cook for myself. So I saw a video on someone, um, or recipe, well, not really a recipe, a video with somebody making it some buttermilk crispy fried chicken. So I want to try my hand in that. So I only took out three, three thighs that I had in a pack. So right now I'm going to get ready to season them. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. And then with my chicken seasonings, it's, it's really much, it's really the same basically. Sometimes I use cayenne pepper, sometimes I don't, depending on who's, who's going to eat it. So right now, I'm going to start out with some seasonal. That's one of my staple seasonings that I use a lot. And I don't use a whole lot of it because you got to wash your salts, that sodium intake. Some onion powder. Some onion powder on it. Some garlic powder. Some pepper. My label fell off just now. I'm just opening this. Normally I use paprika as well, but with this, the butter the buttermilk is gonna make the chicken, you know, crispy and dark as well. So I don't want to make it too dark. So I have a little parsley here that I'm just gonna add into the mix. Just throw something in there. Again, let me wash my hands again because I just took that chicken. Okay. Again, you guys, when you work with raw meat, make sure you wash your hands in between when you're touching things and all of that. Make sure you wash your hands because you do not want to contaminate things, your, your cabinet on countertop, your cabinets. Again, I'm just going to season the other side. Same thing. Season all garlic powder. Onion powder. Again, you can season it with whatever you want, you guys. Some people I know just use salt and pepper if that's what you like, you know, on the chicken. But I, I like flavor and I like taste, you know. I already, and before I, I season these, you guys, I did brown this chicken um, for a little, maybe a few hours in some uh, water and salt. That helps with the, the process of making the chicken juicy. So I'm just going to press this down, make sure that seasoning gets all on now what I'm about to do next is going to be a little bit redundant on what and seasoning before. I'm about to dip it in this butter milk. Now you know the seasoning is going to come off, but that's okay. The good thing about it is you still season your flour that keeps all those um, seasonings and stuff together. And it's still within that buttermilk because I'm going to let it soak in the buttermilk for probably about 30 minutes to an hour in the refrigerator before I start to cook. So let me, again, let me wash my hands. So I just have some regular buttermilk, nothing special. This is actually low fat buttermilk. All right, you guys, so I got a big enough bowl. So I hope you guys can see me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the buttermilk in here. And just pour just enough so it'll submerge over the chicken. Now I'm gonna try to squeeze all these at the bottom. Again, this buttermilk is going to help with the juiciness and then the crispiness of the chicken. I love a crispy piece of fried chicken. So, I'm going to put the top on. And when I come back, you guys, I'll be, I'm going to be ready to fry. Again, I'm going to let these, some people let it sit in the buttermilk overnight. I don't have time for that. Um, I'm going to at least give it 30 minutes to an hour before I start frying it. And then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. So. All right, you guys, I am back. I left this chicken marinade in this milk, buttermilk for a little over an hour, maybe about, could have been almost two hours, hour and a half, um, two hours. So I have my flour here in this bowl. Now I did season my flour. I seasoned it with a little cayenne pepper, my seasoned salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little pepper. So now I'm going to take this and transfer to my flour. Okay, let's go skin side down first. 
No, I'm going to put these hands down because I get, I get my hands dirty. And make sure I get it all over this chick, this flower. Dredge it all over it. Make sure your oil is hot enough so when you fit your per first piece in, I'm going to put three pieces in this pan. I got my oil already cooking, like I mentioned. So, it's going to get loud. I'm not going to put it in yet until I finish dipping these so you guys can hear me. So, let's dip all of that. It smells good though. Even in the buttermilk, I can still smell the, the onions and the garlic. Make sure you get all that excess flour off because you don't want to burn in your grease. When you fry anything, whether you use buttermilk or anything, make sure you always shake off that excess flour, meal, whatever it is that you're cooking with because that gets in the bottom of your pan. Let me wash my hands before we do that. about the mess because I'm going to clean that up and right up when I finish. Put this chicken in there. Just trying to make sure, again, make sure every area of this chicken is coated because you want that crunch to be on every side of this chicken. Let me shake this one a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to put skin side up. This cook for probably about five to seven minutes on each side. Now I'm a country girl and this is a thigh, so this is a thick piece of meat. So I like to when I fry my chicken, I like to put the lid on it sometimes just to help, you know, make the inside, I mean get the inside done. Because I, I can't stand when you get close to the bone and you see that red from the blood. Yeah, I cannot, I can't I'm sorry. Do that. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I wouldn't advise you to do it. So again, I'm just gonna monitor this. I'm gonna let this cook and start to brown up. I'm not gonna touch it right now. I'm gonna let it brown up a little bit before I actually put the top on. So I'm gonna just clean up my stuff and then I'll come back with you guys. I can actually show you. Let me move this up so I can show you guys what it actually looks like inside the pan. This is what it's looking like. See so the flour. I turned my eye up a little bit more just because of the me putting up cool chicken in there. It kind of made the, the grease uh, temperature lower a little bit. So I turned it up. Kind of monitor your eye as well too because the buttermilk will make the chicken brown faster. So you don't want it browning before it's actually done. So, alright you guys. I kind of put the top on it a little bit I left it for women. But it's starting to get brown. Hope you guys can see that. I don't want to. Starting to brown up. So I'm going to let it cook a little bit more on that side before I flip it. But I've been moving them around in the pan just so it won't get too, too dark on one side. And then it's not like, you know, you know what I'm saying. So. I just flip the chicken, you guys. So I'm gonna put the lid on halfway, like that, and let it to let it continue to cook. Hey, right, you guys! I am back. I am about to plate this so you guys can see this chicken. It looks so yummy. Look at this. I have, I'm, I'm, look, the, the crust is coming off with me. Yeah. I've seen that. Can you hear it? You hear that crunch? Look at this. Look. This is buttermilk. 
Christian fried chicken. Three thighs that I cook. Again, I season it with a little season on, garlic pepper, I mean garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and um, I see that put a, put it in buttermilk, let it marinate for about a little over an hour, almost two hours. A little parsley on it, and I season the flour with a little, again a little season salt, onion powder, garlic powder, a little pepper. Put a little hint of cayenne pepper in there for spice. But this is what it looks like, guys. Look how gorgeous this looks. Oh my God, I'm so ready to dig into this chicken. I just had to get a look at it. Let's get a nice clean shot of it. Guys, like a Lice 132 again, if you wanna see more videos from me and you know my cooking or whatever, whatever, anything that's on my channel, please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button, until next time, you guys, I'm about to devour a piece of this chicken. Again, like I, like I said, I did my research. One piece of this chicken is a 321 calories, so that's still good within my, my diet. So I think I'm gonna have a piece of chicken, and then I might just have um, some green leaf lettuce uh, with a little bit of oil and vinegar on it. And that's it. Stay tuned.